It is a butterfly, you know that, right? Oh my god, it's gonna permanently hover around me, that's annoying. Nostalgia Scott Kunch guys of part 12 of Spyro and to the Dragonfly for the Sony PlayStation 2. Last episode, we made it here to Honey Marsh, and I heard a thief up there doing something. So, in this episode, we're going to be continuing on our adventure through boiling hot Honeyburg, apparently, and really bad camera angles that cause us to fall down and burn our booty repeatedly. I, I love how I have the active camera on, but a lot of the time it just doesn't cooperate. Also, finally, health. That didn't even matter because we took damage. Oh, it's one of those thieves. I love how those thieves... Um, you do realize I still have sparks, right, game? Uh, is it registering me not having sparks or something? Because that's annoying. Um, game? That is a butterfly, you know that, right? Oh my god, it's going to permanently hover around me. That's annoying. Alrighty then. Hey, it's duckweed. Duckweed? You sure that's not a reference to some other insult? So, am I just gonna have butterflies following me around? Oh my god, Sparks is bugged. I love this game, man. Oh, it was just registering him as permanently eating that other one. That looks weird. Oh, okay, so this shot's kind of weird. I don't even know how to explain it. Wait, is that a minigame? I guess technically we could do this minigame after we clear this little section out of all the gems here. I can headbutt these guys, right? Yeah, I can, but it doesn't really make collecting the gems from enemies any faster like it does, like, bases or baskets. Or if you, like, flame them, they'll fly up and it'll be slower. Nah, it doesn't work that way. Might as well grab another pig, because I don't know if this is the slide challenge or what. We also might as well grab Zoe over here. After we grab... Holy gems, man. There's just, like, a lot of gems lying around just doing nothing, I guess. Okay, that was only four gems there, but... Like, why were they all in baskets then? Like, there's more gems right here just laying on the ground doing nothing than in there. Oh, I was about to say, this would be a sneaky spot for a dragonfly, and lo and behold, there was, and it's Suzuki. Hey, it's Suzuki. How do you think we got a dragonfly in the last episode? This one we've already gotten two, and we just started playing, so that's pretty darn good, if I say so myself. Oh, this is like, um, honey heaven over here. Like, look at this place, man. This place is... Also, a lot of Christmas colors for a honey level, not gonna lie. Alright, so I think we can go and do this minigame now. I think this is the slide, which is the only other slide in the game, I think. There might be one in the thief level. We already have 373, so we're only missing four, a little over 400 gems. Which... 400? Yeah, 427. Which isn't bad. Oh no. Welcome to Honey Marsh's Sticky Swamp Shootout. Us honey folk done love shooting stuff with our tank. Oh, of course you are. It's a blast. Make sure you shoot all the targets. Oh yeah, and this one I think is automated, right? So yeah, I think it goes into like first person mode, which is kind of weird, but... Oh, never mind. It goes into first person there. Oh wait, no, there's a time limit on this one. Oh, I see. Um, okay, just get bombarded by whatever the heck that was. Wait, if I'm supposed to be killing bees, then what are all these guys doing here exactly? Is there any way, like, I can speed this up? Okay, I don't think they attack you, but... Oh, never mind, they do. I don't think they designed this level very well, just saying, game. 
There we go. Uh, how do I drop it down again? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're almost dead because of these guys and their grenades, because... If I fail this, I think I'm just going to do this one off... Yeah, I'm going to do this one off screen. They made the, um, the tank minigames in this game way too hard compared to Spyro 1, and it's just sad. So, we're, we're gonna leave. Uh, like I said, I don't think it's gonna be a 100% playthrough. But I'll get everyone other than the tank minigames, because, like... Honestly, I had a lot of fun playing Monkey Monastery, and I'm enjoying this level. Just not the tank minigames. The tank minigames are literally the worst minigames that this game has, and... What the heck was that? Also, why was that gem flickering into two gems? Man, I know I have bad eyesight, but that's not what I mean by bad eyesight. Holy cow. I just need to wear glasses, I don't... And I do see double vision if I focus when, um... I have my glasses off, because I have a weird eye, but I shouldn't be seeing double vision like that, that's for sure. I'm always worried that the game's just going to honestly break and cause a lot of issues, so yeah, it doesn't help with the paranoia factor of playing this game. Also, this level is uh, slowing down something fierce here. And there we go, we got this one, Russell. It's Russell. The way he said that, because, like, that... I don't know what happened there, but it just was really weird. Okay, what's over... Is there literally just a life over here? Is there really nothing else? Oh, wait a minute. That looks like a key. Wait. Why did I ground pound? Can I actually make that from here? I don't know if I can or not. I can, and it's a wooden key. I still don't get why the one in the snow world had, um... I uh, had, uh, whatchamacallit, um... Oh, come off a game. Had, uh, a seashell. The pig sound effect does not sound like a pig. That's for certain. Now, was there a still over here, or anything like that? It's this part of the level. This level just has, I think, too much going on with it. Also, if the honey was actually dangerous, that would be hurting me right now, so... I don't know why this game uh, apparently has honey physics and then not honey physics. Wait, how many times do you get to shoot that gun? I've never seen him rapid fire before. Um, where'd that third gem come from? There better not be more hidden gems like that throughout this level game. Also, you wanna know what's really dumb? There's a tricky platform right there to get to, and it literally has one red gem. At least I can go down here and get this life again. Nice, 20 lives again. Most of the deaths in this game aren't even like your own skill fault. It's stupid stuff like that where you get, like, locked into taking damage. Also, I did, like, some kind of weird body slam flame breath attack. That was just weird. Not gonna lie, that was kind of odd. Anyways, there's another still up here that we have to shut down, so we're gonna shut that down. Finally. I think there's three left after this. Okay, no, there's only two. Alright, Mr. B, out of my way, thank you very much. And every level has one of these random hallways that makes no sense why they even exist. Also, these bees really don't do much, do they? They just kind of, like, wait for you. I'll take bees over those laser gun rip docks any day, that's for sure. Also, I don't get why, like, so many of the games use Riptox as the enemy, instead of Rhinox and stuff like that. It's just silly how they create similar names for enemies, despite being totally unique enemies, I guess. Bunch of green gems right there. Oh, I thought you weren't going to pick that up, and we're going to have to make me manually do it. 
Oh yeah, there's just a random these dragonflies just don't run away. Swan. Hey, it's Swan. Pardon me. Swan. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce these weird names that this game chose to incorporate into its story, I guess. I don't know. And now we're going down one of these obligatory PS2 hallways in the Spyro series. They do a lot of that in this game for some silly reason. Also, a lot of platforming with no gem. It's nice. Thank you. Also, I don't know what broke there, but something broke when we did that, which is kind of funny. I do see Mr. Laser. I think that was a laser guy. Was that a banjo guy? Please be a banjo. No, that's a laser gun guy. That is annoying. Also, there's bees there. That looks oddly. Uh, I was going to say, that looks oddly suspicious, fishy, sticky. You. Is this even honey now that you think about it? Nasty. If Jim Bob was the other one, what's your name there, Jimbo? Jimbo Jones? We got ourselves a problem here. Well, these here rip tops have set up shop in our trees. They're using them bees to launch attacks on us. If you could wipe them all out, I'd be much obliged. When you're done, go see my second cousin, Warren Bob. A bleed. Cool. Now it's time to go kick some Riptock butt. Well, them beehives are pretty tough, so you're gonna need to swallow those rocks and spit them out like watermelon seeds. <laughs> um. Okay. What rocks, though? What 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 rocks are we talking about here? I don't see any yet. Game. Are they like around here somewhere? Cause I sure don't see anything. And I took damage, because I... Honestly... Oh, right there, you mean. How was I supposed to know they were going to be right here? Also, I didn't even realize I had a rock. Alrighty then. Fire! I'm pretty sure it used to take out the bee, too. Ugh, go! Wait, I didn't pick up the rock? Are you serious, game? Oh my god, the jankiness of this is just... silly. I love how, like, there's just one rock that kind of, like, sits off to the side, which I think is the one that you're supposed to technically fire. Okay, oh, yeah, there we go. Also, why did that have a zero in front of it? Also, I love how, like, I had my cheeks full randomly, but then I technically didn't have anything. Oh, okay. Weird. There's the gong of death again. What I don't get is why it keeps saying zero. Like, it makes no sense why it says zero. Like, I think it's trying to count the fact that you have rocks. Okay, so they say destroy, just double checking, because you never know with this game. Also, I love how, like, it doesn't indicate that like, you actually have to walk over here. Can I even kill that guy? Can I, like, actually grab the rock, please? There we go. Thanks, game. I kind of want to avoid the bees at all possible. Luckily, if you die, it seems like the beehives stay. Or stay destroyed, I mean, not, like... Wait, what bee actually hit me? I don't think it was him over there. I'm a little confused. Also, I apparently have the rock now. So, and it didn't do the sound effect of ingesting the rock either. So, I don't even know. So, that one should be destroyed. So, that means we can now go this way. Whoa. That one just does not like... Oh, there we go. Now we have the rock again. It just randomly stopped the uh, sound effect of swallowing the rock, which is really weird. And who wants to swallow Dwayne the Rock Johnson, man? Let's be real here. And then the bees all just die. 
And so we gotta go find what was his name? Jimbo Jones 3? Let's see. And Wait, you said go find your cousin. Okay, I'm confused. Alright, well thank you for Lily. So there's gonna be one dragonfly we don't get here, but we still need enough to go to Jurassic, uh... Jurassic... Jungle? Yeah, Jurassic Jungle! Don't fall down there, I don't wanna backtrack again. Backtracking in this game is, uh, not at all remotely fun. Alrighty, looks like we got some platforming up there, dude. We still have to find the chest, because I do have a key. Which sits in the middle of your inventory. I love how there's like all those inventory slots, yet you'll never have them fall. It makes you really question if they were gonna add a lot more to levels to collect than they actually did. So why do these only ever drop red gems? Like, oh, there's the exit portal, which means that this is the last of the stills, because it's also right next to the last dude. And there's also a dragonfly over there, which means then there's the slide, and I think that's literally it. Are you serious? Why does it always angle here? Grab the gem, Sparks. Grab uh, uh, the gem. And now we'll talk to this guy. You did it! You saved us a whole mess of trouble by getting rid of them nasty critters. Glad I could be of service. Here's a dragonfly for you, little fella. Don't spend it all in one play. It's not money, bro. It's a living creature, thank you very much. It's Taka. Hey, it's Taka. Alright, now... Yeah. Hi! Um, Sparks, why did you all of a sudden have a real voice that went, Hi! You didn't even go, hey. Also, who puts these gems right next to the exit portal like that? Like... Somebody's gotta be, uh, fired. Oh, wait, never mind, they all were, because they were all laid off. Never mind. It's gonna be like, they need fired for that, but... Yeah, no, they don't have a job anymore, so... And I think that's just backtracking now, so... Looks like we can go back this way to that area that we need to do. Also, I wonder if that wall hurts you, or if it's, like, solidified. Oh god, the sound effect of the machine sometimes slugs right down and just sounds ridiculous. I expected to fall there and I didn't, so I'll take that. Also, we gotta switch into our Buble breath. You know, Michael Buble breath. Wait, he didn't move either. Gory. Hey, it's Gory! Alright, thanks. Now, I think we're just missing one dragonfly, right? Oh no, we're missing two because of the chest. And there was a, one of those gold gems that were worth 25 instead of 10. Still don't understand that. I really think they just forgot to color them. They were supposed to be purple, but they made them gold for whatever silly reason. Oh, there's the chest! And there we go. Open says me! It's a blue one. Tim. Hey, it's Tim. Thanks, Tim. Now, how many gems are we missing exactly? I think we're missing... We're still missing 41 gems. It's actually quite a few, so I'm assuming that place that I thought was backtracking isn't actually backtracking. So that's where we're gonna go. And then once we finish off this level, we're probably going to end the episode, because, yeah, there isn't really much else here to do. Well, once we beat it. Then we only have two more levels to do, so this series might be, like, three or four more episodes, depending on just how long those levels take. It might be, like, four or five if Thieves' Den takes a while, because I know that level is just downright god-tier awful. Like, it is bad and- okay, no, the wall doesn't hurt you. I ran into it by accident that time. I think I ran into it the first time I ran down the hallway, too. And I don't think it was that- okay, no, yeah, there's gems and stuff down here. I didn't think this was a backtracking spot. It didn't look like somewhere we've been. 
Okay, so yeah, there's the mini game right there, but we don't want that just yet. We want to go and grab all the gems first. That mini game might actually take 10 minutes for all we know, because I remember it being difficult. Okay, there's nothing on those uh, honeycomb platforms. Great. Darn it, Delilah. Wait a minute, are you telling me that there was no checkpoint from the end of the level to where we were? Oh yeah, see what I said about checkpoints in this game being just bad? Yeah, that's what I mean. Luckily all the enemies stay dead until you go to a minigame, which is weird that the enemies respawn with minigames, but not with death. It honestly kind of baffles me with like level design in this game. Like, the platforming stuff would honestly be good. This is like normally, this is normal tier of Spyro stuff. Nothing out of the ordinary for that. Nothing weird or abnormal or confusing about it. Also, I didn't take damage. That was weird. Oh, take it. I'm not saying I'll uh, be mad that I didn't take damage. I'm just utterly confused with why I didn't take damage. Alright, hopefully these are the last of the few gems that we... No, we still need... We still need 25 more gems, holy cow. I guess because, like, only a few of those platforms actually had gems. But looks like, for the most part, this should be it. Oh no. Oh, thank god. It was right there. No! No! We're missing one singular gem! No! A cursed one. And the issue is, all these enemy things respawn. I really feel like it was that one enemy, but... Could just be a random gem anywhere in the level, because this level had some really weird enemy place or uh, gem placement, so... And the sad part is... You can't track gems until you beat the game, and by that point you'll probably either have found them all, or you just don't care enough to play anymore. I still don't get this platform here, though. Like, why is this even... I was gonna say, why is this even here? you think there'd be, like, a gem there, but... I'm hoping it's back this way. I'm hoping we just missed it, and it's, like, with the minigame or something, because I don't think I'm gonna... Oh, never mind, it's right there. Aha! Now we can just go do the minigame and beat the level. Or at least attempt to beat the minigame. I'm not sure if we'll actually beat it or not, but, you know. We'll try to beat it, is what I'm trying to get at. And then we'll call it an episode. So, let's go through the portal. Yay! At least we have an even gem total again. So, we'll now be at... Dun, 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 5,700 gems. Oh, I've been recording for hours, man, yet I still need a few more videos, so I might need to do shorter gameplay. Sparrow, that darn BS one of the dragonflies. Can you chase him down the slide so we can get the dragonfly back? Yeah, 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 sure. Um, wh why is your name different than the others? So are you the only one that, um, isn't part of the family? Oh, so this B sometimes just doesn't race you. But that's actually not the issue of the level. The issue of the level is the fact that it's actually more than a race. It's an obstacle course with death traps. Luckily the music here is actually really good. And like I said, like we've run into a few things and the bee really just doesn't seem to do much, so that's a thing I guess. Do do do. Whoa! Did you see my jump just like teleported me into the ground? Now we're getting to the more difficult part. It's gonna get really narrow. Also, it sounds like the bee's chasing you, but it's anytime you go near those honeycombs, so don't don't fret. The bee is very rarely ever going to actually outbeat you in speed. Like I said, the biggest threat here is actually the obstacle course, which you can tell right here is going to be annoying, because I'd rather slow down right there, because then at least we wouldn't fall down. Yeah, yeet. Yeah, yeet. Oh, now we're going- I really do like the design of the slide, though. Like, it looks really cool. Also, in fact, there's, like, no sound effect other than Spyro's jumping, though, which is really, really weird. 
That part, though, is the one of the most difficult parts in this entire thing. I think it's pretty much clear sailing from here. There might be, like, a wee bit of a challenge, but honestly not too bad. I thought that one was like a pit. Yeah, it looks like we're getting close to ground level, so... Yeah, and there he is. He's just standing in the honey. Also, how come this honey doesn't hurt us? We did it! Sir? Sir? Hello? Hello? I can't jump, charge, or anything. Oh, there we go. We have to go way over there. Judge Spyro, with your help, we managed to stop that bee right in its tracks. He won't be bothering anyone anymore. I got the dragon pod from him, too. Here you be. Here you be? Oh, my lord. Bee puns. Clubtail. And Spyro didn't even say anything, because I think Spyro's broken. What a prick! Um, why would I ever want to slide down that? It's just weird. This game breaks so much. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, join the Patreon and Discord and link below, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye-bye and have a wonderful day.